Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. High performance daily is finally here. The next update for Forza Horizon 5. So today we have a car that we have unlocked from the from the high performance daily. And the car is this the Ford Focus ST from 2022. The last Focus model to be ever made. Ford is not gonna make any more of these cars. They are ending production of this car. And we got the final car in Forza Horizon 5. Today we're gonna be checking out this car and doing some different builds of it and see how how hot it is because it falls under the hot hatch category. So let's see what kind of a hot hatch it is. So the last generation ST had center exhaust and it looks like the generation the 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 focus of this generation is the same as the STRS. It's the same as the RS from last generation. Look at that. Doesn't have center exhaust. It has quad parts. Oh, oh can you hear that? I think that's the anti leg. It's an anti. It has an anti leg from the factory. Am I the only one who's hearing that? Okay. that little crackles okay so this is a slow car okay it's not that slow front wheel drive hot hatch i think all hot hatches are front wheel drive but the the most expensive ones like the rs are all wheel drive so i think i'm gonna turn this one into an rs let's try out this new car bone stock and we're gonna go to the new races they've added the new tracks they have added in the game so this one they've added one two where is the other one? Okay, there's the third one. I think there are four, four of them. Where is the last one? No, they, they only added mm, sprint races, I think. Where is the fourth one? Oh, here's the fourth one. Right here, it goes around. Okay, let's do this one. The new track we have in Forza Horizon 5. So we're gonna try out this one, Bone Stock. Let's see if this car is fast enough. Oh, it's just lame as other cars. Bone Stock, 276 horsepower. That's our power bone stock i'm not gonna lie i kind of like the old ones look this one hmm, kind of looks like an suv don't get me wrong it's beautiful but i kind of prefer the old ones look it doesn't look anything like the old ones oh so we are racing some of the hot hatches in the game okay i'm seeing the old st in the front no that's the rs i think, I think I, yeah i think that's the rs the 2000 oh and behind this the, you see this the rs look at that okay now i can see a little bit of similarities and i'm pulling the old rs <laughs> so the old rs is slower than the new st <laughs> what i thought the st was supposed to be faster okay maybe because it's the old version of it that's why it is slow oh the pressure is fast we also have the amg a45 okay oh it's faster than me oh look at that it is fast look at it go i don't think i can win is the st also a forward wheel drive car or is oh okay it was, it was trying to bull me there he tried to hit me and i managed to pass him oh this is the new track i see i see i've never seen the any track that enters by the festival oh maybe they are but not like that one okay i'm gaining i'm gaining on the purge okay overtake and going after the civic pass it the golf what kind of golf is that? Was that the GTI or the Golf R? Oh man, I wonder who are those in the front because wow, they're way fast. Oh, that's the Volusta, Hyundai Volusta. I don't know if it's called, that's the name of the car. I'm butchering the name. Yeah, that's the Volusta, and uh, I haven't seen the one we, which is okay. Break. Oh, number one, I think it's a Golf 7. Oh, you're almost there. Woo. Oh, they are so fast. Okay, oh, them go. No, 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 get it, no, almost got it, almost got it, like I was so close, okay, let's take this bad boy for some customizations, I know they are pretty visual customization for this car, yeah, I don't think it has a body kit, like, oh, that doesn't have a body kit, let's see if it does have a body kit, nope, no body kit, no body kits are currently available for this car, oh, maybe in the conversion saying, nope, no body kits at all, okay, we have visual customization, for this car with a bumper we got maxton design look at that kind of reminds me of the old rs the front of it it removes all 
holds everything the grill and the badging for ford and st but it brings back the old ford logo on top just like the old rs and okay forza aero we got these two bumpers how are they different oh only the splitter is different oh what okay should i add this one because now i want to do a rally build on this car okay let's choose let's customize it yeah we gotta have that and we're gonna make it rs version of this car kind of like this one and we have a front hood okay we gotta get everything and side skirt only one hmm i think we are done here okay now let me put on some rally suspension who is it rally suspension here we go and gonna do some weight reduction we gotta do an a, a, a class build so i gotta make sure that doesn't go to s1 s1 class i think this car is gonna be at best on a1 a class i think that's why i think it's gonna be at best so bones do i have rally tires bone stock oh no i don't have rally tires bone stock thought i had rally tires bone stock okay let's put on some rally tires and let's put some width on those tires no nope, we don't need that right now and some wheel spaces to make it more wider for that perfect fitment look at that that's perfect and we gotta put on some rims holy this wheels look so good on every car that i put them on always pull through okay let me give it this one should i what about the gold one? Ooh, look at this one. Ooh, i like this okay it kind of reminds me of the old rs <laughs> okay now let's do some engine swaps we gotta oh there's an inline four turbo rally okay let's take that and we're gonna okay making it rear wheel drive it takes us to s2 class okay let's do it without the four wheel drive next up we're gonna do a the s1 class build so we're gonna use the four wheel drive should i put on the anti lag of course we're going rallying we should definitely take on the oh this restrictor plate what okay now i think i'm gonna use the the old engine because now i can't do a a class race without like it goes without any upgrade okay let me use the stock engine gotta put on some power okay i had to sacrifice some things for for it to be on a1 class not a1 why am i keep on saying a1 class a class so i had to remove some things even the weight weight reduction i had to let that go okay now you're going rally racing and we got the anti-leg look at that we got our four-wheel drive system let's see how it is as a rally car because some of the hot hatches have been used for rallying i believe also this one is a uh, i assume it also has some rally identity in its roots okay, here is our we got 427 horsepower oh look at that wing that's a silly wing what was happening there whoever customized that mini cooper what the hell is going on there oh the old rs oh i'm faster than it with the launch oh i'm faster now drift 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 oh that was a perfect drift oh uh, goodbye mini cooper we passed the mini with a big wing oh i think i should have i also should have put a wing i should have included the wing also like oh no I hope I don't land on top of another car. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Are you best at rally racing? Oh, you are bad. Okay, let's see. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Got him. Oh, I'm taking number one. Oh, no, it's also the Golf 7, which is number one even right now. So that's the king of the hot hatches. Oh, the Golf R. Yes, that's the Golf R, not the GTI. We don't have the GTI in this game. We only have the Golf R. No, no, no. Don't do that. Look. Oh, I messed it up. I may never catch up right now. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Really, man? We passed him. Oh, man. Let's go. Now we have to defend our place. Oh, I'm gapping them. Look at that. Look at the mini map. They are being gapped. I think I just built the most, the perfect rally car. <laughs> okay, they're coming now. Oh, no. The gap keeps on opening and opening again. Look at that. And the jump. Ooh, man man oh that was a shaky landing that wasn't perfect at all but we still managed to keep that gap oh man and across the line p1 yes so now it's time to 
build our focus rs with the st now i'm gonna do the engine sub of the turbo rally in line six should i okay let me keep the all-wheel drive because i'm trying to build the old rs and i'm gonna take off the restrictor plate that gives us 39 horsepower plus okay 77 i'm gonna take this one and we're gonna turbocharge this engine s1 class already and now i'm gonna take off okay i'm gonna put the race suspension i'm coming for you weight reduction yes and we gotta put a roll cage on this should i put on the roll cage okay let's do it and i have to upgrade the brakes race brakes yes you're gonna need them because the all-wheel drive car hmm. and i have to get rid of the rally tires right now which one should i put i think i should put on these ones the slick tires oh from 400 127 horsepower to 668 horsepower and we got rid of 300 kg and we're s2 class Woo i didn't realize we are in s2 class now we're gonna be racing some hypercars okay okay they're gonna put me against hypercars oh no what have, what have i done I've never seen a car which sounds like this. Look at this. Ooh. Did you hear that? Oh man, that sounds good. Ooh, the anti leg in this car doesn't sound like doesn't sound like anything in this game. Man. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay let me not get distracted let me go i'm gonna do one of the new events right now which one should i choose okay let's take the one which starts at the highway because i know i'm gonna have a good launch right there because i have slick tires with all-wheel drive and the slick tires oh maybe i don't know maybe i won't have grip okay let's see how we go right now with 668 horsepower 926 newton meters of torque and we got a two liter engine turbocharged one <laughs> in line for turbo rally oh we got the old rs in front of us with the white body key okay let's see how we go no hypercars I knew it that I'm gonna have a good launch in this car. Oh my, don't top out right now. Don't top out, don't top out. Ooh, our gears are so perfect. We got number one. We got P1 at the start of the race. Okay, now I can see the understeering of the car. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. I was struggling right then. The golf seven pushed me okay I, I can say i brake checked him but it could have break too okay it's not stable but as it gets grip it's gone like as soon as they want to pass me because the car is sliding the moment it gets its grip back it just launches and they just fall behind oh now the audi is that an audi yes it's an audi no get your grip together look at that look look at this look gone okay okay look at that gone <laughs> i'm unstoppable like okay 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 ah! <laughs> they also followed me into the wall look at that i'm gone i'm gone i'm gone maybe this was a bad track for a all-wheel drive car because it has many corners and we have no error whatsoever like there's no error in this car Okay, we have some canals, but I don't think they do anything in this car. Oh my gosh, look at that. We are gone. Oh, don't miss the checkpoint. And another corner. You see what I'm saying? This oh, this racetrack has many, 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 many corners. Oh, you hit the wall. What's wrong with the AI lately? I've been noticing that whenever they see the corner, they, they don't break at all like this. They hit the wall. Playing the game earlier on, and they were doing the same thing. 
hitting the wall. It felt like I was playing online, but no, it's the AI. Like, what the hell? Now the photo AI is acting like people were playing online and we got p1 that's a monster right there i don't know if i ever took a hatchback drifting but i'm gonna start with this one let's do a drift build now i've never drifted a hatchback before have i oh the ionic 5 k the ionic 5 it's a hatchback basically that one is a hatchback one i think that's the only car which i have ever took drifting which is a hatchback this one is the second one okay it's time to get rid of the race suspension and give it drifts and you gotta put on some drift tires okay let me put on the drift transmission and the drift differential give it rear wheel drive let's see if this hatchback can drift oh it can drift look at that now let's head on to the drift zone and see how many points i can get my personal best in this drift zone is 155 5,000. So let's see if we can beat it. 155k. Oh man, the anti leg sounds cool when drifting. Oh my god. Let's go. Don't transition too much. Okay. Oh man, 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 man. Stay on the road. Ooh, stay on the road. Please, please, please. Let's see if we can beat 155k. Oh. Oh, more angle, more angle, more angle, more angle, more angle, more angle. No, 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 no. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. 145k. Okay, that's not bad for a hatchback. Comparing to the, the Formula Drift Nissan Z, which I use on this car, on this drift zone. That was close. That's not bad at all. Look at that. Can we get more than 145? Let's see if we can beat that. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, let's go. No, 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 no. Oh, almost there. Oh, no, 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 no,